Skadoosh. Something new and something fresh is what we're going to be looking at today. This is from the website chaosboxes.com. And uh, yeah, this could be a monthly thing. And uh, what we're looking at here, there's, I guess, a bunch of different options. They basically bundle a whole bunch of Magic the Gathering product. And we're going to find out just what all that is because we're going to be cracking open one of these Chaos Boxes in just a moment. There's different options, I guess. There's the Apprentice Chaos, Big Ball of Fire. Each one of these you can click on and find more information about. But we're going to go with the one I started with, Original Chaos Box. So let's get to looking at this one really quick before we open it up. Original Chaos Box, it's $39.99. As you can see, here's a picture here showing, um, uh, I guess, a taste of what all is inside. It says, our original mystery box comes jam-packed with goodies like premium deck boxes, sleeves, dice, or any other magic-related accessories also included. Our booster packs, singles, or any other cool product that contains magic cards. No jank to be found here. We only put in premium products. We use a few different review metrics to determine what we deem acceptable to put in our mystery boxes. I'll be the judge of that. We never put in old product that doesn't sell. And if a standard legal set is unpopular or about to rotate out, you won't find it in our boxes. Well, that's kind of neat to know. That's, that is good to know. So we're going to find out what's inside this, these chaos boxes right here. If you are interested in these, you can use promo code bad boy gaming when you go to your just um, when you go to apply discounts and that'll save you some money as well so give it a look check it out let me know your guys's thoughts but i'm going to give you my thoughts right now and we're going to determine if it's actually worth it to purchase one of these chaos boxes journey with me let's tally up the value Skadoosh. For the life of me, I cannot figure out why I have We Will, We Will Rock You stuck in my head by Queen right now. It is the weirdest, weirdest thing. I have no idea. It just started popping in my head. All right. Anyway, guys. Yeah, uh, that was my side note for the day. But yeah, this is really cool. I'm excited to open it. Let's tally it up. Let's see what's inside, man. And uh, yeah, uh, maybe we'll do good. Maybe we'll do bad. I don't know. I'm just curious more or less just to see what all they put in these. We got a little glimpse um, just by looking at the website there, but yeah. So, wow. Ooh, that packaging is sharp, though. I, if anything, I will give them a 10 of 10 on just packaging alone. Um, yeah, I do like it. You got the flames over there. You got one of these. got some of those. I mean, that's kind of cool. Just get a load of that. Okay, enough said. All right, moving along. There's even art over here. There's art. There's art all over this. <laughs> all right, I'll stop talking. Shut up. You Sorry, I'm sorry, guys. All right, here we go. I'm going to flatten this out. Ooh, okay. I'm going to put this aside, and we're slowly going to just start pulling out its guts. That's right. Okay, okay. Not too shabby. Okay, okay, okay. So here's what we... Ooh, oh, wow. That's it. Okay, okay, okay. I know. It's exciting. I know. Okay, so inside one of these, we started with the Flip Deck Case by Xenoskin. Okay. Xeno skin. Uh, 100 double sleeved cards. Xeno skin. Have you guys ever heard of Xeno skin? Uh, I guess it's going to hold an entire commander deck inside one of these. Durable, rigged box for maximum protection. That's right. That's what uh, your brand said. Okay. Innovative Xeno skin material. I'm going to be the judge of all this. We're going to find out if this is cool or not. Four magnets designed for very strong closure. Best for sorting collectible cards and ultimate guard sleeves. Well, what do you know? And there's a whole bunch of stuff on the back of this. Now, of course, I don't believe, yeah, chaosboxes.com. They don't make these. Um, I don't I don't know how it would work. I guess there may be like a distributor of it or, or some, some, something, I don't know. Something's going on with it, but let's check this puppy out. Not bad. The ultimate guard. Ooh. Get a load of that. Get a load of this. Ultimate Guard, and it tells you, okay, you can follow them. It's it's a big, it's a thank you. I think that comes in every single one of these. Yeah, I know, don't get your hopes up, guys. Um, yeah, okay, and it says, it's a bunch of information on there. The big important thing, though, is, ooh, this feels good, though. Oh, my God, don't eat this. Don't eat it. Bad things will happen to you. All right, so there is the Ultimate Guard. I think this is a familiar little site there. It is pretty fine, I will tell you that. You can see the fine little detail on this puppy here. And, uh, yeah, that's the ultimate guard uh, protection box. Now you know. All right, moving along. I can't be the... I mean, other than it just feels good and it's sturdy. Um, I mean, like, I'm kind of, like, being a little rough on this thing right now. 
and it's not busting. I mean, it looks pretty legit. I did hit that really, really forcefully, and it barely did, like nudged it inward a little bit. That was like extremely hard punching. I'm a big dude. I'm I'm six foot one, about two hundred pounds. Not your smallest cat out there, you know. All right, let's see what else we got here. Ooh, Dragon Shield. Umber. I always want to check these out. This is interesting. Oh, there are some booster packs in here as well, and something that actually I'm pretty excited to see. Hold on. Well, we'll get to that in a second. First things first, baby. Let's crack open this Dragon Shield little pack here. What's up in here, man? Dragon Shield Umber Mate. That's right. That's right. Let's see what's in here. Torana, the Living Rock, the Brown Dragons of Arcania. All right, enough of that. They're just sleeves, guys. Like, let's not get too carried away. Does it have to be a story behind everything? Well, yes, there does, stupid. All right, here we go. So here's our sleeves. You know what I thought would be slick is if maybe they put, like, actual dragons on the back of them? But they're just your, like, normal black bank. Uh, normal blank backs. Uh, material's legit. Let's see how a card looks inside of one of these. I'll just take a card nearest me. A good old uh, Pestilence from Urza Saga. And we'll slide her on in there. There you have it. Um, glossiness, for sure. There's no doubt about that. There's a little bit of glossiness here. Oh, get rid of that right there. So value on these things, I mean, I'm going to be throwing on the screen, you know, how much everything's worth. And uh, I guess the guarantee is that um, if you end up getting um, one of these, you're, you're guaranteed to at least get your... Get the same value or greater that you per, you know at your purchasing price. So, um, these are good sleeves. Dragon Shield. Uh, yeah, I've had these before. Just like I went out and purchased some Dragon Shield. Not bad at all. As you can see, this is with extreme light and like shining onto it. So yeah, when you go past it, yes, there's gonna be glare. Um, but that's because this is picking up a tiny bit of the light. But as far as like, there's no cloudiness on the sleeve. I mean, that's a huge plus. That's one thing that irritates the crap out of me when I see cloudiness on a sleeve. Definitely not cool. But um, overall, I can't just sit here and I can't sleeve all these. But, I mean, if I was a shuffle, it, it feels pretty good. These aren't just sliding right out of my hand. These actually have, like, kind of a grippy back to them, in a sense. And they're really not bad. Um, I, again, I've used these in the past. Um, I'd recommend them. I think they're legit sleeves to go by. Um, price wise, yeah, again, I'll have that appear up on the screen if not already, but pretty legit. We'll take it, my friend. All right, and uh, yeah, good old pestilence there. Good old pestilence. Uh, we got a few other things in here. This comes, I think, with a hundred plus, or is it a hundred? It should be a hundred. Does it even tell you how many it comes with? I'm sure it did. 100 standard size card sleeves. We already read that part. Be stupid your whole life, Joey Moss. All right, moving on to the next one. There we go. Put this sleeve back in here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. All right, what else we get out of one of these? It looks like... I'll save this one for last. I think this is really cool. No, I'll do it now. There are some booster packs as well. We'll get to cracking those in a second. Let's open this, though. This is This looks neat. Die Hard Dice. Roll with the best. It looks extremely sturdy. Just by the look of it, it looked like it was heavy. So <laughs> I, like, I like that already. Um, it's a choking hazard. Not for you know kids under three, for sure. Um, yeah, keep that away from them. Uh, Die Hard Dice. There you go. MTG Roll Down Counter. It's actually for M It actually says MTG on there. I'm surprised to see that. MTG Roll Down Counter. They're not gearing it towards anything else uh, other than Magic the Gathering. So that's pretty neat. I mean, it's easy to open. Bada bing, cracked right open. Oh my god! The weight on this thing is ridiculous. Here's your average size die right here. Okay? So we got average size die, and then we got the old bigger guy die here. Pretty legit. It looks like some pretty nice detail. Here's the huge Throne of Eldraine one. If you're really curious how big this die is, I mean, it's just a little shy of the size of the huge uh, Throne of Eldraine dice. So it's a really good size. It's an in-betweener for those for sure. Um, very, very sturdy. Very, <laughs> very heavy. It's got some, I mean, if you, I don't, no one do this, but this would, this would hurt someone if you threw it at them. Like, ow, that's good. Like, seriously, that's going to leave a mark, you know? Uh, very, very sturdy. Very, um, yeah. You, you hear that. Like, here's an example. <laughs> okay, like that's some power, man. All right, really, really neat. But uh, yeah, I, I I appreciate that die right there. That die is slick looking. 
All right. Oh, man. That's the first time I think I got excited like this for a die. I do remember getting excited for this die, but this ain't nothing. Pathetic. Boom! Knocked out. All right. <laughs> I like that die. All right, cool. And it comes with, like, some of this. Roll with the best. That's right. I got to say, oh, my, what? Goatish. I need that goatish die. If anyone's crazy, send it to my P.O. box. I <laughs> want that goatish die. <laughs> I got to see what the goatish die is about. All right, anyway. And then there were booster packs. Let's crack these open, tally up some value here. Starting things off with Mr. Throne of Eldraine himself. Throne of Eldraino. Let's go. See if we can get any goodies in here. So I'll show you how much the average or how much the booster pack price is going for on TCG player right now. That's the overall overall market value. There you have it. See if we got the dough back. The $29.99, right? 30, I'm sorry, $39.99. Covetous Urge. Still gonna make a deck with this card. Sorcerer's Broom. Oak Dragon. And ooh, we got a I mean, obviously, it's all random inside of these booster packs, but. Pretty cool. We got a magic mirror. Not a foil, just a regular. We'll take it, though. ba da pa pa Uh-huh, I'm clicking it. All right, so magic mirror, legit. And a shambling suit foil. Didn't have to get that, but we did. Haru, hooray, hooray. All right, shambling suit. We'll take it. All right, not too bad, my friends. Then it looks like we also got a pack of modern horizons. What are we going to get inside of this? I don't know. Let's open it up. All right, then. Let's do that. Okay. Let's do that, indeed. I'm curious about their other option, though. Their big one. What's it called? Big Ball of Fire? I'm going to check that thing out. I might get that next month. That looks really cool. Um, let's see. We got uh, this Angel. She's looking gorgeous. Not doing a whole lot in standard. Oh, my. We got something. We got blue. It's a, it's a blue foil. It's a blue foil. Everyone panic right now. If that's a Urza, I might have a heart attack right now. I'm just throwing it out there. Here we go. Oh, my. I don't know, I don't know why I got nervous. Knowing Urza's not a 0-4. Well, I don't even know what Urza is right now. <laughs> that got me excited, though. All right, all right, we're moving along, moving along, moving along. Oh, Waterlogged Grove. All right, some value right there. We'll take it. These are not bad. Uh, if I had to guess, I'd say these are going for like seven, eight bucks, maybe ten bucks a pop. Pretty cool. We shall take it, my friends. We shall take it. All right. Scale up, legit sauce, under uh, Undead Augur, and the Giants. All right, cool. So, and the rest is... Just, oh, wait, we did get an Arkham's Astrolobe, the only card valued over 25 cents. Uh, that's common, I believe, in the entire set. There might be one other one. If anyone knows it, by all means, go ahead. Goat nap. Don't you dare. Goat lives matter. All right, moving along there, moving along there, moving along there. Let's just take this pile, put this pile here, do this, that, one of these. Whoosh, boom. Last, uh, but almost, almost last, so I'm going to drink pack here. Let's see what we get. You guys ever purchase anything like this? Anything out of the ordinary? Anything that's rando? You know, like, uh, are there any other, you know, like, just let me hear about it. I'm very curious. Crash and Drawbridge, Paladin, Cottage, Lucky Clover. There we go. Starting with an ogre with, from the Lucky Clover. Moving to a Bognardi. About to get all Ventress Gargoyle. Uh, that didn't rhyme too well, huh? All right, we did get a Ventress Gargoyle out of that pack. It is something. Probably like 34 cents. Maybe 44. Maybe 49 at max. All right, we'll take it. And, uh, yeah, blue and uh, the blue double dee boo die. All right, last pack to crack. Throwing a bell drain. I really like that die. I'm using that wherever I go. I'm just going to take that with me any place I go and just use it. I, I, it doesn't matter where. I could be at a venue. I, I'm just going to start throwing that die around. Not, not around at people, um, but I will start throwing it around. Like maybe on a table, you know, a safe surface. <laughs> Inquisitive Puppet, The Beanstalk, Embercleave, Mod Ninja. No, that's a sweet pool. We'll take it. I'm loving it. Wow, I can't believe he pulled that. I can't believe it's not butter. Wow, man. Really, really cool pull there. I'm pumped up just for that right there. Got my Embercleave fix on. Still want this in the extended foil art version. Haven't gotten it. One day I will, though, huh? And we got the Mountain and the Human. Wow, really cool. That was pretty neat. Interesting opening, to say the least. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this. Um, have you ever seen this before? Would you purchase something like this? Um, I, I think it's cool. I think it's pretty nifty-thrifty, man. And um, I like that there's a little bit of variety in here. The one thing that, you know, I, I guess I'd have to get a, a different one. Um, the one thing I, I was hoping for, maybe more booster packs. But I'll tell you what. Between the Ultimate Guard, this thing, between the sleeves... The value of these two alone, I know, cannot be that cheap, you know. Um, I'll put up the total value right here for everything. Boop, okay. Um, that's for the booster packs, not 
not what we pulled out of them, but just the booster pack value itself. Um, yeah, uh, but another, also, the box is pretty sweet. This is like a reusable box. It's it's not even like a cheap box. It looks like it's decent quality, you know? That's a cool little art on there. Anyway, I don't know. Um, really neat. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this one. I appreciate you tuning in. And also, if you do go, check them out. Chaos, uh, chaosboxes.com. And then, um, yeah, use the promo code BADBOYGAMING for sure. Uh, the discount code when you would go, I think I could check out at some point. And then you can save yourself uh, a few pennies there, a few bucks, whatever the case may be. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. And uh, skadoosh. That's my fist. Hooray. Oh, yeah, check out these videos right here. They're good. Check them out. Go check them out. I should be live streamed, too, on Twitch. So, yeah, check that out, too. Link in the description. Everything, baby. Oh, yeah, link for this in the description, too. But check out the videos. Bye-bye.